Wow. Take a look at this view. It's incredible, isn't it? We're here in Nagasaki Kyushu. The reason why we're here in Nagasaki is because we're gonna try the different Kyushu soy sauces. Soy sauce in Kyushu is sweeter than other parts of Japan, and each region has its own unique variation. And as we head from here down south, we're gonna try those different variations, and I know I'm definitely gonna enjoy it. Soy sauce, or shoyu, is one of the essential seasonings that underpin Japanese cuisine. It's made from soybeans and roasted wheat, inoculated with a koji mold starter. Salt and water are added, and the mixture is then left to ferment. After being aged for a time, this thick slurry is pressed to extract a rich, dark liquid. In Kyushu, southwestern Japan, various types of shoyu have been developed for complementing different dishes. From one region to the next, each sauce has its own tradition and use. Colleen is a radio DJ from the U.S. who's lived in Fukuoka for 18 years. On this edition of Journeys in Japan, she visits various areas of Kyushu to sample the local sauces. She gets to see for herself the way they're made. There's kind of like mold. And discovers their distinctive flavors and traditions. Oh, oh, oh. Colleen's journey starts in Nagasaki City, about a thousand kilometers west of Tokyo. From there, she continues to Kumamoto City, and then to the town of Odotsu in Miyazaki Prefecture. Before Japan opened to the world in the mid-19th century, Nagasaki was the only point of contact for traders from Europe. To this day, it still has an exotic feel to it. Several hundred years ago, when foreigners came to Japan, it was this island that they stayed on. And apparently, there's something to do with soy sauce. There's soy sauce-related items here, which is why we're here right now. And uh, I'm going to learn a little bit about it today. こんにちは。こんにちは。あの、私はガイドお願いしたのあの、コリンです。はい。お待ちしております。ありがとうございます。こういう格好はあの、何ですか、かっこいいですね。これ門番ですね。門番。はい。江戸時代というのは入ってこ
ここでね、醤油っていうふうに、ちょっと書かれてます。あ,あの、ジャパニーズソヤ。か。even centuries ago、Japanese shoyu was highly prized in Europe for its rich flavor as a seasoning。This recreation of a trader's warehouse shows some of the merchandise that was imported. In those days, Dejima was said to be so full of sugar, it was known as the Sugar Island. サトウキビぐらいでしたら手に入れられるんですけど、絞っただけの砂糖になるので、黒い砂糖なんですよ。で、白く生成する技術がないんで、でオランダ側はバダビアってところでもサトウキビ畑作ってたのを買ってきて持ってきてたんですね。で、それが輸入されてきてたんです。Thanks to this abundance of sugar, a wide range of sweet confections came to be developed in Kyushu. 九州の醤油はなんか他の特流よりあの甘いんですね、はい。で、それでこのシュガーロールがあるから、そうです。これもやっぱり長崎から砂糖入ってきていましたので、こういった砂糖醤油使われてますので、ね、甘くなっていくという流れになりますね。うそうですね。ね、yeah. うん、makes sense ね。Hirado is Nagasaki Prefecture's main production center for soy sauce. Colleen visits a local store to see what kind of sauces are made in the city. Oh, so I want you to take a look at this. If you look here, we've got soy sauce from this area, but it goes all the way from here to here. And there's so many different kinds of soy sauces, but they're all also from like different companies, not just one maker. Nearly 40 types of sauce are produced in Hirado. People here use different varieties depending on what kind of dish they're eating. In recent years, a new type of sauce has been developed in Nagasaki. Instead of soybeans, it's made from another ingredient. Konnichiwa. はい、あの見学をしに来ました。大丈夫ですか？<笑>グリーンと申します。入っていいですか？すいません。入ります。あ、こちらあのクラです。こちらで熟成発酵の様子ですね。For the past 20 years, this company has also been producing a sauce similar to shoyu, but not made from soybeans. これもう毎日このように混ぜるんです。まあ下に沈んでるものを新しい空気を与えてやるというのが美味しさのコツですね。空気で美味しくなる。いや本当になんか美味しくなれ美味しくなれっていう感じですね。<笑>そうです。生きてるものというあの捉え方ですね。お醤油と言ったら日本では穀物からまあ作るのが一般的な日本の文化なんですけれどもこれは魚です。えー、フィッシュ。Nagata Masatoshi's company started out producing packets of dried fish for making dashi soup stock. But these bags are usually thrown away without using all of the nutrition. It occurred to him that he could use the same powdered fish to make a nutritious sauce. Sagana no, ma, shitono karada ni, honto ni, ano, taishetu na eiyo so ga taksan arimasu no de, sore o mo 100% まあ,あ人の体に摂取していただきたくこちらを作りましたね<笑>醤油として。His aim is to imbue the sauce with the full goodness of the whole fish. That was his reason for starting to make his shoyu.
super fresh shoyu do you this ne So it's not sweet. It's actually it tastes kind of like what I had growing up, saltier. But like I don't know how to explain it. There's a really it's a good like punch in the mouth. Um it's really good. Um yeah, I don't know quite how to explain it though. But it's not fishy at all. Um you don't taste the fish. Just delicious. Nagata hopes this new type of shoyu will bring people good health. The city of Kumamoto developed as a prosperous castle town. It's also known for its abundant groundwater, enough to supply 100% of its water requirements. And I guess it's because Kumamoto has such delicious and clean water that they're able to make really delicious soy sauce and uh, that's what I'm going to go try here in Kumamoto. Colleen's next stop is a local soy sauce producer. Konnichiwa. Kyo wa ano chotto tour o onegai shitemo daijoubu desu ka? Eh, ano Yamamura to imasu yoroshiku nashimasu. Yoroshiku nashimasu. Irashite mase. This company has been in business for a century and a half. In terms of output, it's the largest shoyu producer in the prefecture. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. There's so many tanks. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh, it's really deep. I don't know what I know. The soy sauce here is prepared using the mineral rich groundwater. It's left to ferment for six months. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of it's a little bit dirty. It looks like. It's kind of 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 なので、あの、1973年にここの場所に移ってきたんですけど、最初2年間は醤油が作れなかったというふうに言われています。やっぱりあの、持ってきたつもりで育ったつもりだったんですけど、やっぱり菌が足りなかったんだと思うんですね。
これあの色を取った透明な醤油ですね。醤油ソース。醤油ってどうしても黒くて色を邪魔してしまうところがあるので、そこを除いて料理にその彩りとかあとは深みを渡すあの出すっていうところで使えるかなということで。お、あ、醤油ソース。It's tasty. I like this one. あ、そうですか。ありがとうございます。そう。これはタンギでも、it's a little bit マルヤカ、a little bit kind of round taste。いろんななんかなんかチャレンジ今知ってますね。なんかそれもすごいですね。あ、ありがとうございます。はい。あの食の思考が変化してるっていうところで、日本もその醤油の消費量減ってってるとかいろいろありますけれども、でももっともっと醤油ってですね。あの活躍する場があるんじゃないかと思っているので、うんうんうん、ちょっとぜひそこは頑張っていきたいなというふうに思っているところですね。すごい、すごい。ありがとうございます。That's amazing。やはりあの使うシーンをもっと広げていかなきゃいけないというところがあるので、実は透明な商品。こんにちは。いお醤油とまあ一緒になんか食べられるあの熊本の名物料理がまあいただけるでしょうかね<笑>。<笑>いやそうですねうちのまあおすすめは、うん、馬刺しなんですよ。馬刺し。はいそれを熊本の甘い醤油で召し上がっていただくというのがおすすめですかね。わかりました、はい、じゃあお願いします。はい。食べてみたいです。はい。The practice of eating basashi, or sashimi horse meat, dates back to the days of the samurai. Once, during a time of famine, the local warlord was served this dish and was amazed how good it tasted. These days, it's become a Kumamoto delicacy. Let's eat it. Just a little bit. Um, it's got a lot of the fat, you can see the marbling in it, but it's not heavy at all. The soy sauce is just a little bit sweet, and so it kind of gives it a refreshing, smooth flavor, and it really, the, the fat just melts in your mouth with that sweet soy sauce, and it just kind of goes on your tongue, and it's just, it's so delicious. Here, the horse meat has been prepared as sushi. Colleen's last dish is seafood sashimi. The fish here is all caught in the waters off Kumamoto. あの、魚もちょっと、なんて言うんだろう、甘みがありますね。で、それであのちょっともうちょっと塩辛いがいいですね。それぞれの素材でですね、やっぱ醤油の味がね、また一つ一つこう味を良くしてくれるっていうことです
The town of Odotsu sits on a narrow spit of land between the sea and a river. It's gained a reputation as a soy sauce producing town. It has three shoyu breweries, even though it has a population of only about 1,400. Colleen visits a local store to find out what kind of soy sauce is produced here. The, the katsuo that's bonito and it's right here and looks really delicious. Sashimi mita hi desu ne, naka ano, ma, sashimi te naka ano, shoyu ga arimasu ne. Hai. De, sore mo arimasu ka, koko ni? Hai, arimasu. Kochira ni desu ne, odotsu no san tempo no shoyu ga koi te arimasu. Hai. De, nani ga chigai masu ka? Naka ano, sono tsukai wake mo arimasu ka? Colleen has bought some fresh bonito fish. Now she's heading for a local shoyu producer. like we've got a soy sauce brewery here, so I think I'm gonna go and uh, take a peek inside. This company has been in business for 220 years. It's the oldest of the three shoyu breweries in Odotsu. Oh, yeah, we have lots of soy sauce already. Konnichiwa. Ano, kengaku sashite shoyu no benkyou desu. Hai. Miyata Kenya is the eighth generation owner of this family brewery. He has a workforce of six to help him with production. えっと、こちらではえ、いくつか説があって、また定かじゃないんですけれども、一つ塩田があったっていうのが理由の一つになりますね。Odotsu oh, has long been a hub for shipping. Soybeans and wheat were readily available along with the local salt. Everything was in place for producing shoyu. で、もう一つは、え、港町なので、漁師さんがやっぱり醤油が。ですね。好まれ、え、必要で、え、需要があったっていうのが、え、理由になると思います。はい。Fishermen <笑> like to eat the fish they catch while they're still out on their boats. Because shoyu is easy to carry and brings out the umami of the fish, that makes it the perfect seasoning. あの、ちょっとなんかあの、醤油を味見したいんですけど、で、これをさっき買ってきましたので、これを。わざわざ。はい。あの、いいですか?はい、もちろん大丈夫です。うん。お、結構ありますね。え。カツを食べるときはあの
油が乗ってるのでたくさんつけないとやっぱり味がわからないかったり、えー、手軽手早く栄養を取るためにたくさんの醤油で。These are the factors underlying o d o t s u s history as a center for shoyu production. However, in recent years, this proud tradition has been declining. Some 15 years ago, there were five shoyu breweries in Odotsu. Now, there are just three. For a time, Miyata left his hometown to find work, but he came home five years ago to take over the family business. He didn't want Odotsu to lose any more of its long lineage. ま、昔からの味を守っていかないといけないという使命感まあありますし、その伝統を途切らせてしまうのはもったいないっていうのもありますね。お豆腐のあの醤油作りはまあその将来はどんな感じですか。甘い醤油っていうのがやっぱり全